oh my god i just already started making a video and and i found out i was not even sharing screens so i just deleted that i wasted about five minutes anyway so this video is about uh the vehicles that i was gonna uh, that i'm purchasing now um this is a purchase agreement i have to change this document uh, name here this image uh this is one for a gmc yukon yukon and the other one okay that's the chevy tahoe and this one is for the eagle chevrolet the chevy tahoe right here chevy tahoe uh you know 64 but he is more you know, with the taxes and everything i know i'm taxed i'm not even gonna go that route i'm gonna go a different route as you'll see right now whereas this guy here he did do the total so it's 80 80 000 now the reason I put this, you're gonna see here, I go to a different screen. This is the scanned image, but you can't see that there's, this is what it really looks like. It, I, I put it, I glued it with temporary glue strips around, you know, temporary glue strips. You could take it off if you need to, but I'm not, it's gonna live right here now. And uh, all I'm gonna use is scanned copies. I mean, the original is in my, you know, registrar's files here at the local office, the local registrar's office, lead to province, Jatan lead to the state. Um, and, what you do, you tape it here. I left a little room for a header, right? And I did the same thing for the other one, but you just can't see it. And I don't. I already, I already closed off the screen. This is the HP Smart software that is all online now, and with that, with a printer that you're going to see in one of my videos, which I, I haven't published yet. So you'll see that I bought this nice printer, uh, three hundred bucks. You know, it wasn't expensive, but it, it was a wide, wide uh, uh, panel, wide. Um, scanner glass so i can scan large documents but uh here it is here all right gmc yukon and chevy tahoe now i brought these up is because it's 9 16 i woke up this morning and i know these guys are gonna you know they're gonna haunt me right you know now it's nine o'clock they're gonna be blowing up my phone right now because they want to sell this vehicle i already told them there's no way if you saw the video now, if you see here, what I did is I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna continue with that 44. I'm not gonna make. I'm just gonna go 44.1, 44.2 until until I get the vehicle or I get the money for them violating my legal notice and demand. Because basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know send them a bill and then I'm gonna go over something. You're gonna love this. You are gonna love this. So I'm keeping this. So every video that you see 44 is about these vehicles. I'm gonna 44.2. I'll you know, but 44 is always gonna be in the front. Now you know based on this this right here uh, see 44 where is it right here c44 new vehicle purchase call recording uh now okay and so basically what 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 the next step is so I was gonna, you know, be, I had another company that I couldn't find the EIN for because I was declined credit on one of my companies. I can't get it through my name because I already did the estate EIN number, which uh, completely eliminated my my credit and it's, it went to zero. So now I'm forced to do all this other stuff. So it's a blessing in disguise that I did the 82 number, you know, um, because uh, now it's forcing me because I have no, I, I am not that, you know what, practice what you preach. You know, so if you're preaching that you're not the straw man and then, you know, you're going to have to have, you know, paperwork and uh, start start filling those shoes. So if that is the case, you can't use the social anymore. You know, you're going to use it for, you know, for certain purposes, but not for like, you know, credit and business and stuff. So you have to kind of get a full, you know, or, you know, full documentation on your new identity, which would be like the international 98 number. So uh, they I called them 830 in the morning to get the tax ID and they told me that uh you're gonna have to call back another day and i'm not i was on two and a half hours with them on friday trying to get that ein so i abandoned that project i am not i'm going path of least resistance next so i'm not going that so then where my mind is is going is uh, i'm gonna you know pretty much put an ag lean on the vehicles you know that's why i did the whole documentation you know, I did these documents down here so I can put an ag lien on it. I signed this over here and do a UCC one. And I was trying to find out if I have to do it in New York since the, the transaction happened in New York. So I was reading up on it, see where do foreign corporations, I, I, you know, I'm reading up on it a little and I think I have to do it in New York. So uh, I, I, I think I will. So now what I did was I went here and then search, you see New York standard debtor search. And then I basically just typed in GMAC, I wanna see you know, what other 
uh, you know, what other uh, vehicle aglines look like. And then I got to here. So, so let's see, you know, and now you see, you see, it, okay, here, all of the equipment and all modifications, additions, replacements, and substitutions and procedures there to in whole or in part on schedule number between motor insurance corp at lessee and technical. See, this doesn't look, I want to find one just with a regular person. So, you know, GMAC, let me see. This is the one I view because it's in red. Let's see what these look like. This is not available, 2001. Let me just see what this looks like. GMAC, okay, that's the person filing amendment. It's an amendment. See, these are redactions. Okay, this is not good. Close this off. I'm going to just close this off too because I don't like this. All right, let's see here. What's this? There's no UCC there. Uh, let me just do another one. Business name, enter this to required. See, I want to know first name, last name. Okay, I'm just gonna type in another one, which is like Ford. No debtors, debtors, debtors found this for. I want it searched by creditor. Document search. Anyway, let me see here. I don't know, I'm John Deere. Dodge. I know I'm not looking right. There's got to be a way that I can first name to, to the search by all you see, or you know, search by credit. I found them already before. I just want to look at, see what one looks like. Oh, these are people. Not, I don't know, let's just see what this looks like. What year was this? 2005. Termination. Hmm, let me do a let me do a bank or something. Uh, I, 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 I'm almost sure, you know, I hope it doesn't look like I don't know what I'm doing. I just wanted to see the format, but it's pretty simple. You just make the ag lean, you just go through it and you see. But I would, I'm going to find one. I'm just not going to find it right now, right off the cuff. But I'm going to basically, I know how to find, I just can't do it right this moment to find how you search for creditor. Maybe I'll do it at the Maryland uh, website. So I'm not going to do that now. Next is, you know, so I, I, I was like, all right, well, I'm going to have to do this process and such. And then I say, you know what? I don't even have to do this because, because. I don't even mind letting go of the vehicles. They just violated me because they conspired uh, to, uh, you know, breach of contract. They conspired to, um, they, I know they broke a bunch of laws that they violate my legal notice and demand. So basically, then I started searching for, you could, you could learn, you could use lawyers. You, you could use lawyers. Don't like be allergic to lawyers. Let them do their job. Because you have to um, uh, fast pace this. You gotta main you like let them do that. You find a, a sleazy lawyer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Look, I I want to go to this guy's review page. Watch this. This guy. Let's go to this guy's review page. See, this is the this is the guy I want to say. Look, man, I have a nine figure. Um, I have a nine figure uh, debt that I'm trying to collect. Uh, I'm gonna call him right now. Okay, John Plummer, look, this man is one of the lowest people that ever existed. He sips his champagne in his summer house that he purchased with the money he stole from people who were in, injured. He's essentially a loan shark without anyone actually receiving money. I promise you, 
I will sue him and he will pay for his harassment that he has been doing to me and so many others for years. Does he say here, look, watch what this other one says. Look, shady low life debt collector who lie, harass and, and try to bully people somehow manages to steal money even without having so much as started a case or serve someone with a summons, let alone have a judgment entered. These guys, they bypass everything because they've done it to me. They've leaned my accounts out of the blue of, of $12,000. And th the thing is, is that the guy who did that to me was my landlord for my business warehouse. And I paid him, like I paid him up to date. And then I say, look, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna leave. And he kept my deposits of two deposit. I was paying like $6,000 for a warehouse because I had a bunch of trucks. I had 20 trucks. And um, so it was real expensive. I mean, that sounds crazy, but I, I, that's, where, uh, that's what I was doing. And then the guy, I, I was honest and I was admirable and I was in, you know, I, I did everything proper. At the end, he stung me for that talk. You know how I'm gonna get him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put charges on that. I'm gonna bring violations, and that guy, I'm gonna take all that property now. He hurt me. He injured me deeply, deeply, badly. Now, so this guy right here, let's give him a call. I don't know how uh, I may overlap the. Uh, let me pause this, and then this way I can use the voice recording and then kind of merge it in, maybe because otherwise it's gonna. No, actually, it should sound good. You know, it should sound good. So let's give him a call. If not, I'll overlap it. That's exactly what I'll do. I, I know how to do that. Um, all right, what's this guy's number? of Richard Sokoloff. This call is being recorded. If you do not wish to be recorded, please disconnect at this time. Further, before your call can be connected, I need to inform you that this is an attempt to collect a debt by a debt collector and any information obtained will be used for that purpose. Please hold while your call is connected. This call is being recorded. If you do not wish to be recorded, please disconnect at this time. Please hold while I try to connect you. Good morning. Uh, my name is Jetan Lita. It's the first time I'm calling, uh, and I'm calling because I have um, some um, companies that uh, that you know that they are, have some debt with me, and I understand you guys assist in collecting debt. It's a large amount. I'd like to make an appointment to uh, come in and meet with Richard Sokolov. It's a nine-digit uh, nine-digit um, debt that I'm trying to collect. Okay. I can, uh, I can, I'm going to take your information to, uh, I'll stick with them and see what time and when uh, can you meet. Uh, what is your first name? Okay, it's uh, Jetan, J-E-T like Tom, O-N like Nancy, L like Larry, I-T like Tom, A. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no. That was the first name was the Jetan and then the... <laughs> Lita was the other last name, right? Yeah, it was this, this was a family name, yes. And um, okay. I meant to say, um, it's it's JPL International Unlimited. Okay. Um, uh, where's your phone number? Okay, 631-281. Seven five zero zero. Okay, excellent. All right, so we'll have Mrs. Buckle up to see if they call Mr. Lita. Um, normally, what we do is, um, if you want to acquire services, we'll save you 
uh, either by fax or email a uh, copy of the contract. You know that will highlight all the uh, all the points of uh, of us collecting, meaning that um, we would uh, like you you pay us on for the uh, for the legal fees. Like if you if we are going to litigate, you get that at zero percent commission, meaning we don't take you know whatever you put in. Sure. You so whatever you have, send over to me, and then I'll review it. If if you need me to, you know, uh, if I'm okay with it before meeting him, then I'll send it over. And then if not, we can discuss it at our meeting. And uh, you know, I'm looking I'm looking to make a connection with uh, a, a debt collecting attorney because I'm going to have numerous, numerous uh, debts uh, involved in my business. And I, I'm going to deal directly with a uh, proper and correct debt attorney. Absolutely. Um, and uh, one more thing. What is your, um, your email? Okay. That, that first and last name, you know, I'll, I'll repeat it again, just so you, and then all it is is estate after that. Let me just repeat. J like John, E like electric, T like Tom, O like October, N like Nancy, L like Larry, I like impossible, T like Tom, A like Apple. So, and then it's estate, E like electric, S like Sam, T like Tom, A like Apple, T like Tom, E like electric, at gmail.com. Uh, gmail.com. Excellent. So um, I will, uh, I will, I will, that, uh, contract, send it over to you. And basically, every time you would send someone to collections, we just ask that you send everything up front, meaning purposes, you know, any invoices that you have sent um, to, the, to the person in question. Um, any contract that you may have, you know, like if you, if the person who signed the contract, you know, admitted to be liable for that, you know, we basically all the paper was proven that the person owes the balance because we, we needed it, you know, in the future. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll get all that stuff, no problem. Excellent. All right, Julia, so I will either myself or Mr. Stuckel will give you a call at some point uh, today, okay? Uh, excellent, thank you very much. If I don't pick up, leave a message or I'll send an email, no problem. Absolutely, no problem. Excellent. You're welcome. All right. So I don't know how <laughs> I don't know how well you heard that, but I know you probably heard me, but you didn't hear them. Now um, I keep on making this mistake. I say nine digits. It's nine figure. Like I'm such a retard sometimes. But I've been saying that, and it's like you know I got to get the lingo because it's like I'm gonna be doing like oh it's a fourteen digit no it's a fourteen <laughs> fourteen figure um, debt that I'm trying to collect. What would 14 figure deck look like? Give me one second. Uh, okay, let's see. 14 figures would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14, what did it say? 14 figure, okay, is uh, thousand, million, billion, trillion, 10 trillion. That's that, and I mean, this is just what my mind is going. That's all. Right, let me see. Do I have anything else? And then I was just researching this so I could bypass everything because all I'm going to do is send them a bill. Who's going to tell me that they don't owe me the? I'm I'm stating it, you know. I'm stating it to the universe. It's 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 a registered legal notice and demand that's uh, you know, not yet filed with the uh with the copyright and trademark office. But once that's done and you know, uh, it's notarized. You know, and I'm going to try it that way without even recording it yet, because some of these guys are so sleazy, they just lean up bank accounts. You know, at this point, I'm going to use the money for, for our humanitarian project. So I'm not sure, you know, if I get any bad karma for it, but I'm going to, you know, please forgive me, father, <laughs> if I have sin, but I need some money. I'm over here, bro. I'm over here trying to help you know, people, uh, you know, with not even asking, like not even asking for anything in return. And then I'm over here having to like, uh, I need stuff. I need, I need a bunch of stuff. I need money. So I'm going to have to resort to this now, but you know, it's all divine. It's all divine. So if this does happen, if this does happen, see, I told you now you're going to hear this in real time. Okay. Hello. Hi, Mr. Alita. Yes, who's speaking? Uh, this is Alex from Attorney Temple of Focus. We were just on the phone. Yes, Alex. Yes. Uh, hi, I'm so sorry. I forgot to ask you for your address so I can put it, uh, we can put it in the contract. Okay. It is 
110 Mastic Road, Suite 505, Mastic Beach, New York, 11951. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, and then not only that, I have so many people that owe me money. I need a QuickBooks right now, and I don't even have the money to buy it because I need to buy a good QuickBooks because the QuickBooks, you're going to be able to make your own checks for the UCC so you can get a registered tender uh, payment, you know, uh, with Silverback Security. You make your own check. You know, you can, dump, you can put all the boxes where you want. And... Um, uh, I mean, I have it here. I mean, you can use any software, but I'm not using Checksmart or anything like that. I'm doing this proper. I'm doing enterprise. Uh, I'm getting. I want to get enterprise um, QuickBooks because I'm an enterprise. You know, enterprise. I, you know, I just that's what I had before. Enterprise QuickBooks. I mean, I might not get enterprise, but I'm definitely gonna get. I'm gonna definitely get a get a five user because I want to be able to use all my companies because people owe. I mean, just to give you an idea, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have all your details, all perfect, everything. You know, tax ID ninety eight, whatever, and then QuickBooks. You just write them. You're gonna have all your um, violations on your legal notice and demand as items, like sales items, and then you bill them. All that just for this. Pricing products. No, I'm not even going to this. I had it. I had a different page. It's already so. Just right here. Online pricing. Buy QuickBooks Enterprise. QuickBooks Desktop Compare. Let me see if this is the page. Yeah, this this is the page. Okay, and then there was another one right here. This is it, okay? So basically this, these two different things are, one is QuickBooks pricing, QuickBooks Intuit desktop, okay, desktop. So, you know, so you have it local or you can have it, you know, remote. I've always had it local, you know, so I'm kind of used to it. So I may do this, how many users, you see? You gotta make sure, you see, this is, this is different. Users is they they they're kind of like making it almost. You really have to understand up to, here. It says up to five users. That's not true. Five those are up to five people that are able to access it. Select number of users. That means how many entities. So if you have five companies, you know, if you have two, see. So for each one, so this is expensive. Is this annual or right here? Annual subscription. Now, this one is for what? For the desktop. So it's $2.99 a year. How much was it for one user? $1.99. All right. So I I mean, at the I mean, I'm gonna need a couple, but I mean, I'll start with two. But then I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna increase whatever when I have money, I'm gonna do this proper. I'm gonna get the best. I always get the best. I always get the best. But if I don't need something, I'm not gonna get it. But if anything I need, and if it has any kind of features that I that I need, you know, look, one of them over here says 1099s. Oh, look, pay 1099 contractors. See, I'm gonna be on the phone with them. They, you know, they yeah, they're limited. They don't they don't have all the stuff. But and then not only that, I'm gonna get a Wall Street accountant. I'm not joking with this. Wall Street accountant, Wall Street lawyer. This guy looks sleazy, so I might just use him here because I want somebody nearby. But for other stuff, you know, like uh, for, for accountant, I, I tried. I mean, if I, how do I get you out of here, man? I hate when these pop-ups come. I don't want your help right now. All right. And this is the one that's online only. I mean, this looks pretty good. Select your plan, simple start. But there was some stuff. Look, look at how big this thing is. Look, look, you could barely see, you could barely see it blocks your whole screen. That's, I mean, these guys do not know how to make a website. This should be smaller. 
Okay, right there. These have more of something track time, manage and pay bills, track profitability, track inventory, all of these you can make checks. You know, I mean, what's this here? Advanced per you, how many users? Anyway, so that's it. I gotta get this. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I think I'm gonna get the hard line one, this one. This is desktop, meaning you you download you. Of course, you're linked in, you know, you know, through the Ethernet, the, the Ethernet, the Internet. But but you you have a physical copy. So I'm going to get on the phone with them and uh, and get this ASAP. Because what I want to do is I have to establish my my account and then put in all the, uh, you know, just write a bill for a violation, send it to the to these dealers and then, you know, give them 10 days to pay. And then. Um, And then that's it. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this right now. So I just thought I'd give you a little, uh, let me see how long this, this video was. Stop share, 26 minutes. All right, I'm gonna end this, stop recording and I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it.